God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because man is a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. It's appointed unto man once to die. But after this, the judgment. We may be alive and well. We may be alive and sickly. But death is coming. And the only access we have to God after death is you must be born again before you die. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, and yet God is giving you the free will of choosing whether to receive or reject Jesus Christ. Receiving Jesus Christ and God will receive you into His heaven. Rejecting Jesus Christ and God will reject you into the gates of heaven. Not everybody in the world gets to go to heaven. That is a misconception that is a lie from the father of lies, John 8, 44. You cannot be good enough when the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. You are not right enough when the Bible says there are none righteous. No, not one. We are not good and we are not righteous. And thus we cannot all get to God. And death is coming to all. Born to die. And yet God so loved the world that in the condition that man is to die. In the dangerous condition that man, if he were to die in his sins. There is a place called hell. And if you do not believe in heaven, and you do not believe in hell, and then you're calling the life of Jesus Christ a waste of time. For Jesus Christ, who is God, and God is Jesus Christ, came down for a reason. There is a reason why Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. There is a reason why he went to Calvary and suffered and died. And one of them reasons is that the creation of the Creator God disobeyed the Word of God and became sinner. And the wages of sin is death. Man will die. And yet, foolishly, foolishly, I have heard this month two people proclaim they will never die. I thought one was enough. And yet the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And the Bible proclaims Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And if you were to have a notion that I will not ever die, you are making yourself equal and above God, Jesus Christ. Now let me explain to you why I make that statement about death and not dying. Jesus Christ, who is God. And God, who is Jesus Christ. 100% God, 100% man. 
left the heavenly abode, born in Bethlehem in a manger. We know that story. That is God manifested in the flesh. That isn't just Jesus Christ. That is God who inside the womb of Mary without a man was conceived by the Holy Ghost, the virgin birth. That baby she gave birth to was God, and that baby she gave birth to was man. And that man, Christ Jesus, lived 33 and a half years. And according to prophecy of the first account of the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. God manifested in the flesh, suffered and died upon that cross. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. So God manifested in the flesh, died for our sins. And if I have heard one, and I have heard another this week, there may be some of you here today that would say, I will never die, preacher. And I say that the wages of sin is death. And if I can find a lie in your past, if I can find where you have stolen something in your past, God will find you as a sinner. The wages of sin is death. Jesus Christ, 100% God, 100% man, suffered and died sinlessly. Christ Jesus had no sin, no thought of sin, no action of sin, no doing of sin is Jesus Christ, the righteous, the good, the only good, the only righteous. 33 and a half years without any sin. And yet God in the flesh gave up the ghost on that cross and died. And if you have the nerve to say that you will never die, you are proclaiming to be sinless, and you are proclaiming to be better than Jesus Christ, who was sinless, and yet he died. Now the wages of sin is death, and that does not give an account to Jesus Christ. Pilate proclaimed to the people of his realm, the Roman government, and in the Jewish authorities and people, I find no fault in him. And the scriptures proclaim the holiness with the without sin of Jesus Christ. Now, I have heard men and I have read men say that Jesus had sexual encounters with women, Mary, Jesus had done this, and Jesus has done that, and then God will call them liars one day. Because my God, my Savior, was sinless and had no acts and no thoughts of sin at all. And when God wants a sacrifice for sins, He needs the Lamb of God which take away the, the sin of the world. And that sacrifice ought to be and has to be sinless. And if that sacrifice of God needs to be sinless, if you give your money to a church, if you go to a church, if you're going to do righteous works, to gain your way into heaven, you have to do them without sin. And that's where you come up short. That's where you fail. Oh God, look how good I am. And yet the scriptures say how good you're not because there is none that do it good. 
in your public proclamation to God one day on how well, how wonderful you are, Jesus Christ in his 33 and a half years will say, I've done better than what you've done. And the fact is, you will be judged by Jesus on what he has done. Now the very fact is as a human and as a sinner for the wages of sin is death. You will have to stand before Jesus one day without sin if you think you can get to heaven by your own good deeds. So let's look at the picture here. Sinless perfection of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, as a child, never stole anything from Mary and Joseph. Never. How are you doing with the cookie jar? How are you doing with your mother's loose change? How are you with your father's open wallet? How are you with a pencil or pen from someone's desk? How are you with the paper clip from work that that paper clip, if I take it, the company has all kinds of paper clips and money. It's not stealing, and yet it is stealing. How are you, and this will date how old I am, that you have put your fingers in a telephone booth and taken that dime or quarter that's not yours? How are you doing? We put that under, or oh, that's not really stealing, and yet the Bible says... That is stealing. Jesus Christ never stole anything. So your life will be put against Jesus. And God will proclaim that chocolate cookie or that, that money that you took out of your father's wallet or your mother's purse will come up to say, all right, put that against Jesus. And Jesus never stole. And I'm not talking about the bad, filthy, ugly sins today. I don't need to. I only need to come to the very two foundations of sin that every man but Jesus Christ has committed. Alright, let's look at Jesus Christ as sinless, and let's look at you as a sinner. The wages of sin is death. You have lied. Alright? You will be a match against God and a match to 100% humanity of Jesus Christ one day if you choose not to reject Him. If you choose to go by your works and your goodness and your righteousness, you will stand before Jesus Christ and God will find you to be a liar. And when it comes to the account of Jesus Christ, there were none, nothing of lies at all. Now what lies? You ever called out sick from work and you weren't sick? Have you ever told anybody that you loved them and you don't? Or didn't? Have you ever been asked by something, a situation that would have been your problem? Oh, no, I didn't do that. Have you ever had the telephone ring and you, uh, tell them I'm busy because I don't want to talk to them. Have you ever told the lie that three wise men came to Jesus' birth? That's a lie. We are found to be liars before God. And yet Jesus Christ without sin, without lie. Now, our life is dependent upon a father. And I'm not talking a priest. And yet, that man has two fathers. And to have God as your father is to put your faith in Jesus Christ. By your heart. And the Holy Spirit will put you, adopt you, 
and to the family of God by Jesus Christ, the gospel, and believe. You become a child of God. Now, if you have never, ever received or believed on Jesus Christ from your heart, let me read to you your Father. Because if you have not believed on Jesus Christ, God is not your Father. John 8, 44. God bless you, brother. Good to see you. Ye are of your father the devil. Oh! Ye are your father the devil. Can you imagine Jesus Christ saying your father is Satan the devil? And without Jesus Christ, Satan is your papa, your father, and I'm not done with the verse. Without Jesus Christ, you do not have God as your Father. That only comes upon faith and belief and trust on the finished work of Jesus Christ. Now imagine walking up to Jesus, my boy, homeboy, Jesus, look how good I am. Jesus, aren't you so wonderful? I am before you. Aren't you honored? Well, let's check your genealogy. Jesus Christ of and is God. That's Jesus' genealogy. He is God and he's of God. That's the perfect genealogy. And I inquire and acquire that genealogy by Jesus Christ by believing on him, I become a child of God. But if you want to appear before God by works, and Jesus said, open up the records, let's see what family he's in. And if you do not believe that God checks family records, you have never, ever read the book of Numbers and Chronicles 1. I mean, 1 Chronicles. And when the books are open, we will find out who is your daddy. And without faith and belief in Jesus Christ, your father, John 8, 44, you're the, you are of your father, the devil. That's not good. And the lust of your father you will do. Your father's lustful. If you're not saved. Now my father in heaven is not lustful. My father in heaven is holy. And righteous. And pure. And he says... Be holy, for I am holy. And yet, if your father is Satan and it's lust, you're not holy. You cannot be holy by Satan or the devil. Ye of your father, the devil, the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and bowed not in the truth. Because there's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, there's our word, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. I, I don't believe it, but maybe you say, preacher, I never lied. Your father, the devil, is a liar and you are the child of lies. God, Jesus Christ, is the son of God. Holy, righteous, without lies. So you will stand one day without Jesus Christ at the great white throne judgment matched up with Jesus Christ. Look how wonderful and good I am. Who is your father? Jesus, it says that in the books is recorded that his father is Satan. You're a liar. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. So you see, if you do not get the new birth, you do not believe on the Lamb of God. 
You do not believe in the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you do not believe on that, your father is Satan, and your father is a liar, and you are a child of a liar, so you have committed a lie. Jesus Christ never lied. Jesus Christ will never get the title or the application of lie because his father is God in heaven without lies. Those are the two very foundations of men and their sins. You are either a liar or you have taken something. Now, business providers of Daytona Beach, if you have kept change of your customer by accident without returning it, you are charged as a thief. If you say these strawberries are the freshest strawberries ever to be found, they are completely dish delicious and they're completely fresh. And you get home, you find out the ones at the bottom have leaked, are moldy and disgusting. You are a liar. If you ever told anybody, I love you and you wanted to get them, benefits of friendship, you are a liar. If you told someone, hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. And you're not doing good, that's a lie. People lie every day. It's in our nature. The very first thing that man did after he sinned against God, he lied to God. What did you do? She did it. What did you do? The serpent did it. So on the one account of the sin called lie, we are not righteous. We are not right. And our father's not God. Our father's Satan. People who are saved, washed in the blood lie. Our father is God, but we're going back to the old family tree of Satan. And that's a sin. Saved or lost, a lie is a lie. Go ask a politician or a used car salesman. Oh, it's a business practice. No, it's a lie. And it is sin. And it is of Satan. And if you told one lie without faith and belief in Jesus Christ as your Savior, you cannot enter heaven with one lie on your account. At all. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God if you have stolen something. You have got to be washed of your sins. And the only way for your sins to be washed is not religion. It is Jesus Christ. Your word that you just now said, if you stole something, you cannot enter the kingdom. That's a lie. As long as you were accepted from God, as long as you got God in your heart, I just said you got to be washed of the blood. You're just sinning, okay? You just now said if you stole something, you cannot enter the the kingdom. Do not pronounce it. That's a lie, okay? That is a lie. If you got God in your heart, okay? you got to believe on the we, Lord we Jesus are, Christ. But do not say, if you stolen, you cannot enter the kingdom. If you're stolen, you're, you are a sinner. No, and if you're no, not washed of your no, sins, no, you will no, go no, to hell. No, 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 no. You're yes, not yes, going yes, yes. to go to hell. You will go to hell no, if you're, you're not, not washed in the no, blood of Jesus not. Christ. As long as you are washed, 
You're good. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Why, why yeah. won't you mention Jesus? Well, then why make a statement if you're going to do that? Because if you do not, not believe gonna, on no, Jesus no, Christ, no, you'll be no, charged with sin. No. Sins are lying no. and stealing. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You, you still are have doing sin. false prophecies. No. False. False prophecies. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Read the Bible first, okay? All right. And I do every day. Right. If you are with and die in your sins, you will go to hell. And if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are washed of your sins. And this guy is a false prophet. And possibly one lie, one lie is this guy has just told a lie and will be found guilty before God. One lie, one theft. And I have even gone to the other eight commandments. There's a commandment, thou hast not honored thy mother and father. Listen, you didn't treat your parents right, your mom right, or your dad right, and you are lost. That is a sin that you will not get to heaven. You get to heaven by the finished work of Jesus Christ minus nothing else. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the reason why we need Jesus is because we have not honored our parents. We have lied and we have stolen. And I haven't talked about the other commandments. And there are people foolish enough to say, I have kept the commandments. And many of them don't even know what the commandments are. But I'm looking at the two very sourceful foundations of mankind. Either you are born of God through Jesus Christ or you are born of Satan by your nature from your parents going back to Adam. And if you are born of God, you are holy and righteous by the finished work of Jesus Christ. And if you are born of Satan, you are a liar. You are a false witness. Exodus 20. Now we are not under the law. And yet if you were not to believe on Jesus Christ. The law is accountable, accountable to you. Jesus came to fulfill the law. Jesus Christ came to honor the law. Jesus Christ accomplished the law. How did he accomplish the law? He put God first all the time. Friend, no human being can do that. The first thing I did this morning when I got up, I did not thank God. I did not give to God the honor. I picked up my alarm and changed it. And under the law, I am guilty for hitting snooze because I did not put God first Jesus Christ never had any idolatry or imagery and yet religion is filled with it but the very two sins that men create and do and accomplish in our lives is sin and theft And when you lie or steal something, you are now given the title as sinner. And the wages of sin is death. And I said, two people have told me they will never die. Well, in that case, you're never or not have ever sinned. And that's impossible by their ages. And then you are making yourself equal and more to God. Because Jesus Christ, who was sinless, died. He died on the cross for sinners. The chastisement. The brutality. The beatings. The whippings. Was all because of my iniquity. Because of my sins. Because of my transgressions and not that of his. For he had none. 
And the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, had to be sinless. And yet, He died. And we are going to die one day, or one hour. We do not know when. And if you die in your sins, that guy did not hear the whole message. If you die in your sins as a sinner, you will go to hell. If you die by the faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ alone, if you were to put your sins on that Lamb of God, if you were to put your faith on Jesus Christ, if you were to be washed of the blood, of the precious blood of that Lamb without spot, you are saved, you have been adopted, you have been adopted from the fatherhood of Satan to the fatherhood of God through Jesus Christ and not of works, least any man boasts. You will not go into heaven without Jesus Christ. You will not enter into the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven without the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. There's a kingdom of God and a kingdom of heaven coming one day with Jesus Christ as the king of Israel on David's throne. And those of the church age, right now, present, if you do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are not going to either one of those kingdoms. And if the rapture were to happen, and the tribulation happens, the only way you Gentiles are going to go in is how you treat Israel. But right now we're in, the, we're in the church age. And right now we need to preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Why? Because we are sinners. Christ the sinless died for sinners. Never, ever, doing or thinking of sin. And we die because we are sinners. We need Jesus Christ because we are sinners. We do not have access to God on our works. We cannot go to heaven by being good. We cannot rest in peace at death by our righteousness. There is none good. There are none righteous. Only Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is above religion. Jesus Christ is above science. How? He's God manifested in the flesh. He was everything we were but without sin. You know, he was tempted just like anybody else by the devil. And he still came out sinless. He came out victorious. You can't say that a man... There will be events in our life that we will be A or B. And most likely, sin will be choice, chosen, chosen. Because we're sinners. And you've got to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ to be saved. You've got to be of the right family. And to acknowledge the fact is that you're never going to die. You're not on good grounds. 
because one day they're going to bury you underground, as they will with any dead person. And though you will say you will never die, you will, because the wages of sin is death. And before we die, we must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Because people who reject Jesus Christ... Let me get that out of hell free. I want out of hell free. <laughs> Shit, he took my ticket. <laughs> thief. I just said that. Thief. <laughs> and the very two foundations of the sins of mankind of almost 50 years on this planet Earth, including myself, Listen, I'm not preaching to the crowd. I'm preaching to myself. The very two foundations of sins of mankind, including me, is lies and taking things. Do not give me your pen. Alright? 95% of the time, that pen's going to end up in my pocket and it's going to end up home. Well, you did it unaware. You had no idea you were doing it. Still, it's a sin. Did I go all the way back to re give that pen back and repent to the person? I'm sorry I stole your pen. Usually not. And another very foundation of, of man's sin is telling lies. How do you feel it? Oh, I feel good. Uh -huh. And you don't. The phone rings and you look at it and say, oh, I don't want to talk to them. That's a lie. I was busy. That's a lie. Boss, I'm sick. I don't feel well. Okay? All right, see you tomorrow. All right, let's go to the ball game. That's a lie. I'll do it tomorrow may be a lie if you don't have tomorrow to live. How about that one? How about a to-do list that you never get to finish the to-do list? Lies and stealing things. Jesus Christ never, ever. How are you doing? How well did you treat your parents? You know, Let's bring it up a notch. We got time. Let's go back to that cookie or candy bar, or whatever you stole from your mom or dad. And they say, dear, did you take that cookie? No, I didn't take the cookie. Now, if you did take that cookie, you just lied and you stole the cookie. And if you lied to your mother and your father, now you just obeyed your parents. That's three sins. Because honoring your parents would have been, you would have told them, yes, I did, and I'm sorry. It's so amazing with the Ten Commandments that if we break one commandment, we break another, and then we break another. And when you stole that cookie and you told mom that you did not, steal it. You have now just lied. That's two sins. You reach into your parents' wallet. You steal that money. You have stolen. And you have dishonored your parents by stealing from them. How you doing? That was never to be found in Jesus Christ. So never to be found any of the Ten Commandments that Jesus Christ was never guilty of. Who is God? Who is the Lamb of God? Who is the one that suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried? and arose again the third day, that is our means to God, not us.
We are sinners. Guilty before God. Jesus Christ, 100% man, 100% God, sinless, innocent, I find no fault ever before God. Ever. I didn't say never, I said ever, sinless, perfected before God forever. And the only way I can make that proclamation before God is when I am in Jesus Christ and my state is in Jesus Christ. I'm already standing in Jesus, but that state makes me a sinner. If you are not or ever have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, you are not safe, you are not saved, and you are not going to heaven. You can have any other doctrine you want. But access to God the Father is by the one that said, I'm the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Why no man? Because they're a sinner, just like you. Your rabbi is a sinner. Your priest is a sinner. Your preacher is a sinner. Your parents are sinners. Your wife is a sinner. Your children are a sinner. You are a sinner. And sinners are guilty before an almighty God. Now Jesus Christ is not guilty. And your marriage without Jesus Christ will be placed against Jesus Christ. And you will be found with fault. And Jesus Christ will be found without fault. 